Hi everyone, I'd like to show you how to deploy a Layer 2 switch on a LAN. A switch can function as a Layer 2 device and configured with VLAN assignment to implement communication on the same network segment. A switch can also function as the Layer 3 device and configured with the gateway to implement communication across network segments. Here we describe how to deploy a Layer 2 switch on a LAN. First, let's see three typical networking modes of a switch on a LAN. The first networking is the simplest one. One PC connects to one switch and connects to the external network through a router. In the second networking, two PCs connect to one switch and connect to the external network through a router. Multiple PCs can connect to one switch and connect to the external network through a router. In the third networking, multiple PCs connect to multiple switches and connect to the external network through a router. If PCs are located on the same LAN, no configuration is required on the switch. The switch functions as a Layer 2 device. If PCs are located on different LANs, which configurations need to be performed on the Layer 2 switch so that PCs can connect to the external network? As shown in the figure, PC1 belongs to VLAN 2 and PC2 belongs to VLAN 3. The IP address of PC1 is 10.2.1.2 and the gateway address is 10.2.1.1. The IP address of PC2 is 10.3.1.3 and the gateway address is 10.3.1.1. The gateway of PC1 and PC2 are deployed on the router. Let's see the configuration roadmap and procedure. Here we describe only the configuration roadmap and procedure of the switch. The default router configuration has been completed. Configure two sub-interface on the router interface connected to the switch. For sub-interface 1, configure IP address 10.2.1.1 and VLAN 2 from which packets are terminated. For sub-interface 2, configure IP address 10.3.1.1 and VLAN 3 from which packets are terminated. Let's see the switch configuration. Step 1. Create VLAN 2 and VLAN 3. The VLAN batch command can be used to create VLAN 2 and VLAN 3. Step 2. Configure GE0 backslash 0 backslash 1 and GE0 backslash 0 backslash 2 connected to users. Configure GE0 backslash 0 backslash 1 as an access interface and add it to VLAN 2. And configure GE0 backslash 0 backslash 2 as an access interface and add it to VLAN 3. Step 3. Configure GE0 backslash 0 backslash 3 connected to the router. Configure GE backslash 0 backslash 0 backslash 3 as a trunk interface and add it to VLAN 2 and VLAN 3. The switch configuration is complete. Generally, an interface connected to a user device is configured as an access interface and added to a VLAN. And interfaces between switches are configured as trunk interface to transparently transmit VLAN packets. Let's move to the operations. Log in to the device and enter the system view. Step 1. Run the VLAN batch command to create VLAN 2 and VLAN 3. Step 2. Configure the interfaces connected to users. Enter the interface view, run the port link dash type access command to configure the interface as an access interface, and run the port default VLAN 2 command to add GE 0 backslash 0 backslash 1 to VLAN 2. Similarly, add GE 0 backslash 0 backslash 2 to VLAN 3. Step 3. Configure GE backslash 0 backslash 3 connected to the router to transparently transmit packets from VLAN 2 and VLAN 3. Run the port link dash type trunk command to configure the interface as a trunk interface. And run the port trunk allow dash pass VLAN 2 to 3 command to add the interface to VLAN 2 and VLAN 3. The switch configuration is complete. Let's check whether the configuration is correct. Check whether interfaces are correctly added to VLAN. Run the display VLAN 2 command to check interfaces added to VLAN 2. GE0 backslash 0 backslash 1 and GE0 backslash 0 backslash 3 have been added to VLAN 2. GE0 backslash 0 backslash 1 joins VLAN 2 in untagged mode. That is, GE0 backslash 0 backslash 1 
will remove VLAN 2 from packets before forwarding the packets. GE0 backslash 0 backslash 3 joins VLAN 2 in tagged mode. That is GE0 backslash 0 backslash 3 forward packets with VLAN 2. Similarly, check the configuration of VLAN 3. GE0 backslash 0 backslash 2 and GE0 backslash 0 backslash 3 have been added to VLAN 3. Check whether the PVID is correct. Run the display interface GE0 backslash 0 backslash 1 command. The command output shows that the PVID is 2. When receiving untagged packets, GE0 backslash 0 backslash 1 tags the untagged packets with VLAN 2. Let's see the PVID of GE0 backslash 0 backslash 2. The PVID of GE0 backslash 0 backslash 2 is VLAN 3. When receiving untagged packets, GE0 backslash 0 backslash 2 tags the untagged packets with VLAN 3. The command outputs show that the switch configuration is correct. To obtain more information about common configurations and typical features of Huawei switches, see the All About Switches threads. How can we find these threads? We can enter, quote, All About Switches, unquote, site, colon, Huawei.com. In the search field of Google, click any of the displayed links to enter Huawei Enterprise Support Community. For details about more features, visit the home page. The All About Switches threads describe typical configurations and users' questions about Huawei switches. Okay, that's all about today's sharing. Thank you.